Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. So when I'm not on here, I am on Instagram because I love using portrait photography and vertical video in general to kind of let y'all know what's going on really quickly and easily. But sometimes I wanna pull that content, that vertical content, into a horizontal space like here on YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna go over a few ways that will hopefully spark some creativity for you and how to incorporate vertical video or portrait photography into maybe your vlog, or just other kind of content that you're producing in a horizontal fashion. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first example is the white frame. Very simple, add a white background layer to your sequence and then add whatever photo or video element on top of that, resizing it so that the whiteness frames the video or photography that you're planning to use. If you wanna take it up a notch, add a few keyframes at the beginning and the end to add a nice subtle slow zoom in. So that way it's not too jarring, but it does add that kind of Ken Burnsy kind of just like a little, just a little sum sum, just a little tantalizing. You know, you always wanna keep things moving along. The second version is a variation on that. It's the color frame. So instead of using a simple white background, which is a nice clean way to do things and very minimalistic, I usually try to add some color whenever I can. Sometimes I'll usually use a blue background, which you can see in my banner head. And then to add a little pop, a little pizzazz, I put a drop shadow onto the vertical video clip or the portrait photography that I'm trying to add. And with that drop shadow, I change the color to be one of my other accent colors as part of my color palette for the channel. And that just gives it a little bit more of like a stylistic look, um, keeps it fresh, keeps it fun. The third way that I'll go over to add vertical video or photography into your horizontal videos is the Gaussian frames. The video native to whatever size it was shot in and then the background is essentially an enlarged and very blurred version of the video. So what you're going to do is input the video twice into your timeline. The bottom one, you're gonna make it very big, absurdly big than whatever frame you're natively working in. The bottom frame, you're then gonna add a Gaussian blur and blur it to the nth degree. <laughs> And that's it. It's a very simple way to showcase the fact that this video is not natively shot the way the rest of the video is, but um, people have learned to recognize that style and understand that style of like, oh yeah, okay, I'm being shown different content now, or I'm being shown content that was originally shot for a different platform. Now, the tips I've given you are just the tip of the iceberg of how to incorporate vertical video or portrait photography into your horizontal content. So, keeping that in mind, while I show you a few other ways that you can build upon the tips I've already given you, a word from our sponsor, and yes, your girl is sponsored. This video is sponsored by Adobe, which offers a variety of software products for the digital storyteller via their creative cloud. I've been using their software for many years now as a digital storyteller editor and producer. Whether it's Adobe Premiere to edit my short films or videos or After Effects to add graphics, Adobe Creative Cloud gives me access to everything I need for a simple monthly fee. And if you're a student or a teacher, they offer the Creative Cloud at a discounted rate. So, check them out if you're interested, adobe.com slash creative cloud. So, hopefully those tips and a few of those examples spark some creative juices in your mind to get things flowing so you can add vertical video and maybe some of your photography into your horizontal life. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, consider giving me a like if you will. And if you're new here, subscribe if the spirit moves you. They say I should say it in the video, so I'm saying it in the video. I'm Halise. I'll see you when I see you.